<laughs> and I try to sort this by name, notice that name field isn't there. So, so, so it's, I still, if I have the class tracking, that might not be a problem because I can kind of break it out by class up here. Uh, but, but if I go in, if I'm trying to sort in here, then I don't have that name field. So I can't really sort it by customer, which is kind of like I, I might want uh, to do that because, because there's no, there's no customer name here. Although it did still sort by the project, I think, for customer two. So that might not be a problem. So that that, that could work. I'm going to go back and then the other side goes into the work and process. Same kind of thing. So now it's in here as a journal entry. No name. If I wanted to sort this way by customer, then I think it's still pulling in there by, by customer, even though there's not a name there so that might that might be okay i'm going to go back on over if i go to the first tab the other thing to kind of test out is if i go to the left side over here and i look at my sales information for customer number two and i look at all my all my transactions the the journal entry doesn't really show up here so i don't like if i'm looking in this area i don't really see the journal entry that closes out that job and, and maybe i want to see that over here so that might be a reason why i might want to use a form so let's just do that I, I could use a form to do that so i could go back i'm going to go back into where i was i was in the sales sorry kind of jumped around off screen here so so i could go like i could go back in here and let's delete what we did and just try to do it with an invoice because all of this stuff that are in these two accounts are done with an invoice so i can do this journal entry with basically an invoice just like we did with uh, with the other stuff so i'm going to say let's close this out and i'm going to delete it delete it get out of here thing we're going to do it a different way and then go back on up and so now it's back it has reappeared it has reappeared it has reappeared just like that pimple that i've got on my nose anyways uh now we're going to let's do it now let's do the same thing but with an invoice we're going to say it's an invoice and let's say that this is going to be for project number two and it's going to be 530 and so if it was an invoice i'm just going to use this like a journal entry now so usually accounts receivable would go up and the other side would be going to uh to, to revenue driven by the items over here but what i want to do what I want to have happen is I want the work in process to go down to the billings account. So if I think about it, uh, uh, we're going to say accounts receivable would normally be debited. And so the, the credit I'm going to say is going to work in process. So this is going to be my work in process thing. And that'll be the positive number of uh, just the straight or 10001.2. 10001.2. This is going to go to class number two again. And then the other side is going to go to the billings. Hopefully I went the right way. If not, then I'll just go back in and fix it. It's not a big deal. Don't have to stress out about it or anything. Don't get crazy if I'm doing it backwards because I'll just go back and fix it. So there it is. And this should be negative. So now what's this going to do? Well, accounts receivable is not going to happen. Uh, and then I got a two that two cost of goods sold. I got to take something to cost of uh, goods sold. So let's make another item. Let's make it a service item. It's going to be close out to cost of goods sold item. Just to zero this thing down. It needs to go to the cost of goods sold account just to zero it out because it's immaterial. This is immaterial. It's not significant. So we're going to say, okay. And that needs to be for the uh, 1.2 class two. Oh, it went the wrong way with that. This needs to be negative. Okay. So that should do it, right? right all right let's save it and close it 
and see what happens if I go to my report over here running now uh, it closed it out again and then if I go into this worksheet everything is being recorded basically with an invoice but I used like this invoice to just record a journal entry but the reason I thought that might be useful is because then if I sort this by uh, customer uh, then then the customer name is exactly the same so if you filtered by name or something like that then it'll all be the same even though the journal entry seemed to still pull in you know by customer but everything kind of matches in this account so if you sorted by any of these line items it should it should you would think it would it would be easier to filter for different options i would think the other side billing same thing billings over here is now i zeroed it out with an invoice so it kind of matches everything else and then if i went to my internal stuff over here and i i see i could see the invoice and i might want to put in the in the memo of course this is the close to close out to close out like close out in transaction or something like that save it and close it so that i can see that this so i've got all these invoices in here that aren't actually going to the customer but any invoice that has a zero balance i can i can safely assume is an internal invoice and as opposed to the ones that have balances and so that works pretty well and i get to see all the detail of everything that's happening in this screen as opposed to if i had a journal entry where i can't really see everything in this screen now the last thing you can do to close this thing out is we can go to the project over here and we can say that i want to close out this project because we're done dude Dish dishes are done dude and so i'm going to say this is going to be completed completed all right so then it's done and so if i go back on over here now we've got the project has disappeared it's gone if i go back to my reports then i can run the reports by class i can run it for the full year here if i go to the tab to the right i can see it in a profit and loss format if i duplicate that i can also see the income statement let's do the whole year 123125 and break it out by class because i did the class thing as well so we can have a classy report as well as a monthly report the last one was too monthly i prefer to have more class and less months less monthiness and more classiness so in any case then it breaks it out by class and it gives us that nice total at the end and i can duplicate this again and we can see reports on the left hand side and we can check out the reports for the pro for the project project summary report and i can make that from 01125 123125 and run it so there's our information uh by project and this one's nice because i can i can filter it right so i could say i just want the open projects for example so i've got my nice filtering field over here where i can say that i have the project status of uh if i just want the the uh open project so in progress projects so that's the number one because number two has been closed at this point in time so that's a nice uh kind of feature if you look at the if you look at the projects uh in this format the classes are going to be pulling up all the projects that are within the class now you could go into the class field and and indicate that this project is closed with a with something you know you can mark it off to indicate that 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 class is closed and this class is is open or something you put a c after it or o after it in your in your class fields or something like that 